Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the next hockey video as we recap the Calgary Flames at the quarterly report as they unfortunately have paused until after the holiday break. But they have been having great play throughout the lineup, whether it comes to the Dylan Dubays of the world, the Tyler Pitlicks of the world, or the top of the lineup, guys like the Johnny Goudreau's, and of course, uh, Kachuk's of the world as well. Also, Oliver Shillington has really been emerging in Daryl Sutter's system as well. Um, it seems like Daryl Sutter really just has everybody playing at a great pace. Uh, Kachuk's just under a points per game, 23 points with 12 goals, 11 assists. Uh, they added good guys at the bottom of their lineup, like Blake Coleman, obviously, is an example of that. Daniel Vlador is playing absolutely fantastic, and Jake Markstrom has five shutouts when I think he had three all of last year, and is one of the best goalies, if not the best goalie in the NHL this season. Tristan Yari might have something to say about that, um, but they have both have been very good and very fantastic, and then when it comes to... Overall, on their defense, Rasmus Anderson has continued to play well. I thought Noah Hannafin has looked solid this year. Uh, Sutter seems like a pretty good coach for a defenseman like Hannafin, a bigger guy that obviously can move up on the play a little bit. Well, let's see. This season, he's a plus 10, 10 points in 27 games. So having a pretty damn good season this year for Noah Hannafin. And then also, it with, with this team, it's just until they went out and they NHL made the right decision to postpone their games, it, it's the same as <clears throat> I've said about other teams that have done it as well. They've had everybody step up. You have that step-up mentality where whoever comes in, like the, the Hurricanes have had this season, no matter who's come in, you, you've been able to have them just fit in like a fine glove into the lineup and just uh, do really well. Maji Apani is obviously a very good um, player. Um, that plays very good wherever you slide him through the lineup. Even Milan Lucic, uh, where in past couple seasons, uh, he's kind of just looked like he was there, um, has actually had a solid season with 11.7 goals, 4 assists. He's still a slow skater, but at least is getting some things done this year. So this Calgary Flames team is definitely in the right direction, and they look like if they keep playing like this and their overall team keeps playing like this, uh, once they come back from COVID protocols, they're right now third in the Pacific behind the Surprise Ducks and the uh, Vegas Golden Knights with a plus 25 differential there. They play very good on both sides of the pucks with Dow Sutter's system. And they have a very good depth, as I was talking about, getting uh, contributions from guys like Trevor Lewis that just plays his game very well. Tyler Pitlick does the same thing. Dylan Dubé, a very good uh, player that they got at the 56 pick in 2016. People probably wish they picked him before that. Uh, Elias Lindholm, Lindholm, excuse me, having a hell of a season. Andrew Maggiapani. Uh, Monaghan's doing all right, but uh, he's doing solid. It looks like he's kind of coming out of his uh, struggle bunny in a little bit and then getting there, so maybe he'll have a hot second half. But the Calgary Flames are definitely looking in the right direction, where before this season, people thought maybe they were going to be a team that was moving on from certain people at the deadline, where at this point, it looks like this team is going to potentially be adding people at the deadline to have a good run in the playoff and potentially even get all the way to the cup if they have two goaltenders that are playing that well and you have a defense that's playing that well and you have star players like Johnny Goudreau and Matthew Kachuk that are playing that well as well as the depth in your lineup like the Pitlicks and Lewises of the world and the Dubays and Maggiapanis. That's going to go a long way uh, for your team being able to get deep in the playoffs and have a great success run in the regular season as well as having a great coach like Daryl Sutter who had a great success run and one with the, uh, of course, the uh, Los Angeles Kings. So that goes a long way as well. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the quarterly report on the Calgary Flames. Hopefully everybody gets well from COVID as we play for them to get well soon so they can come back after the holiday break to play the game that they love. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the games that are active. Peace.